You know, just get any feelings out um, and be creative in whatever way they want to be. I think a lot of times, um, especially children, when they want to draw a picture, they want to present, you know, something that's happy and cheerful, um, which is great. But I think it's also important for children to um, be given the permission to identify and express negative emotions. And I think that that can be a, an outlet for um, just being able to say, hey, I don't feel good right now. And that's okay. You can go first. Can I use some of your yellow? Everybody goes through a whole spectrum of emotions in their life. <laughs> And sometimes we know how to identify it and sometimes we don't. But, you know, it's okay to, to not be okay sometimes. And sometimes your best for that day is just to, you know, get up and take a shower and, and fix a meal. Um, sometimes your best is going out and, you know, exercising or meeting with a bunch of people. But everybody's best is different on a different day. <laughs> I love it, I love it so much. As I told the kids as they came to paint, as a child, because I grew up in Chicago, so I grew up in the Chicago projects, so I was very angry. So what calmed me down was to draw. Ooh, that's mind over matter. That's a mental stuff too, girl. When you have, especially in the lower socioeconomic and the minority community, is shunned to recognize your mental health isn't right, and people look at you and shun you from the community. And I think that by finding it through art and by focusing and by being mindful of what you're doing, this helps. When the kids sit at this table, they're focused. You know, all they have to do is draw their thing and they're in another world. I'm gonna try to create the Vincent Van Gogh picture. Ooh. Okay. That's the really the goal is just these moments when we can have interchanges around dance or around music or around just hands-on arts activities. There's moments when through creativity people start sharing their stories more. I think it's wonderful that people are coming together and able to start the conversation about mental illness and how to support their own mental health. For so long there's been such a stigma about mental illness, but it's something that we all face at some point or another in our lives. I hope yours come out pretty because I'm like, I like your colors, man. With for health uh, and especially mental health, staying focused, using mindfulness, using meditation, and you meditate when you do your art. And you do that naturally because you get quiet and you get into your head and you get into yourself. So it's, it's a natural ability. And I think it's really important for people to recognize where they are and to accept that um, instead of letting it hang over them um, to where it makes it difficult to move on. No choice. No. I know that there's, it's such a big impact when you have a moment, take a moment to engage in some kind of arts that feed you, whether that's just doodling or drawing. And I think we don't have enough support in schools and in, right, even in our jobs. We don't talk about it's kind of separate, but having a, an event that's integrating those um, things that we can do for ourselves. We know what works for us. Yeah. 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 It's just about learning how to cope with it because um, it may not be something that ever goes away, but as long as you know how to, you know, stay positive, even through the tough times, knowing that, you know, things are going to get better.